So I thought we'd do a little video on this Sealy portable pressure washer. Basically, it's um, a low um, sort of pressure, battery powered pressure washer. So I'd say it sort of gives you almost just below normal mains water pressure. And we find it ideal if you just want to quickly rinse under the wheels or rinse off after you've been for a rainstorm. And you don't want to get all the hose out or main pressure washer. It's ideal and it's also good you could actually take it somewhere as well. And basically it consists of this orange water tank on top. You get your little um, sort of washing brush and a spray and the uh, little hose here and you fill it up from there so it holds um, actually an ideal amount of water um, to sort of basically rinse a car off after you've hand washed it or as I say to wash under the wheel arches and uh, basically it's powered by a, a 12 volt battery that's built inside or you can plug it into the cigarette lighter on your car we tend to use it with its inbuilt battery so you haven't got to have it plugged into a car or battery booster which again makes it hard or work you want it so it's portable and can move around and uh, it could be charged as work come with a little charger and uh, the switch there switches between the onboard battery and uh, your power supply coming from your uh, car so the problem we've had with this is uh, after probably about four years of um, use it stopped working and what i found was if you plugged it into the cigarette lighter supply in your car uh, it did work but working off its own battery it didn't uh, so we assumed there was something wrong with the battery built in so what we did we removed that uh, battery and actually it's quite a nice sized 12 volt battery um, we tested it and found it was completely flat and just would not um, take any charge at all so that battery has failed so hoping this fix will uh, will work and should do and it's not the switch or anything else uh, that's inside it um, and what we did we found uh, a new battery through eBay exactly the same size uh, the code that was on this battery didn't find it what we found was by typing in the specifications of the battery that seemed to find a fair amount that looked the right size and this seller actually listed the sizes so we knew that uh, it would definitely fit so uh, yeah that's um, what's on this battery and uh, this is what's on the uh, battery that came out of the uh, device. So when it came, we were certainly pleased that it was the right size. And actually, it's a really nice battery, a Lucas battery. We've used them before, so uh, it should work uh, fairly well. So yeah, and I think actually not too badly priced. We paid around £16, which um, we thought wasn't too bad because if it was sort of a more unique battery, we didn't know what it was really going to cost. So uh, when we found out, it seemed to be uh, fairly readily available online and uh, not too bad a price. It certainly made it worth doing. Uh, so the first thing to do is to fit it. What we did was, and as you probably guessed before we started this video, we found out what the battery was and uh, got a new one so I could then show the new one being fitted. Um, the good thing is with this it's in two halves so the water tank that uh, sits on top can be completely removed away and that can hold the water and it won't leak out and that then leaves the base unit with the pump and uh, the lead that's built in so you can run it off your car cigarette light and what's nice about this we um, thought that you may have to completely take this to bits but uh, you don't obviously envisage you'd want to change the battery and uh, made it fairly easy so although there's screws to completely take this to bits we noticed there was this panel here with um, four little uh, screws in it you remove them and uh, that gives you access to the um, Pacific battery base that's what we're going to do now is uh, undo those screws Right, so that's all the four screws removed, and then we've put them in a little magnetic trail. Though, interesting enough, they're not actually magnetic screws, but I assume that's because they knew this was going to be very much um, near water, so uh, they made them so they wouldn't rust, which, uh, as we said, generally it does seem to be fairly well built. Uh, there's the little plate with all the information on, uh, if that um, is of interest. So, yeah, inside, you've just got the two leads that uh, clip onto the uh, battery. Nicely enough, it uh, has got a fuse in it, and we did check that to make sure that fuse hadn't blown as well. So what we're going to do now is connect the battery up and... Uh, 
put it back in right so that's it connected back up uh, it looks like we're putting the battery upside down but of course this is upside down so when it stands back up that will be on the uh, bottom and uh, the leads just gently slip inside and the battery is more or less a um, perfect fit inside so we get that um, properly fitted in and uh, then we start putting the uh, panel back in oh, so what I've just found you'll see in there there's like a recess so the battery actually sits up higher and this fuse needs to go down into there so the battery can drop right down so it's a case of keep positioning it so that wire can drop down in there and you can get the battery position so I'm now going to do that with uh, both lines and get that properly in right so that's the battery nicely into position so uh, now all we need to do is to put the little plate back and uh, then we'll get it put back together i uh, put some water in it and test out if this uh, has solved our problem which uh, hopefully it has Right, so that's the panel back on, so we'll uh, turn this back up the right way and uh, get the water tank back on. Right, so that's the uh, water tank back on. We just put a small amount of water in it so we can uh, check it's going to work all right. Right, so it's filled up with water. Uh, if we switch our little switch to the uh, battery side and uh, hope we'll hear it cut in we do and you hear it running and uh, hopefully yeah, it's back working and uh, working I would say slightly better than uh, it did before sometimes it will cut out when it builds up enough pressure in the hose sometimes it doesn't it seems to just depend on uh, how it's running so we'll turn that off for uh, now so yeah that has uh, solved our problem a new battery not too expensive compared to the price of the whole thing and as we said we find this uh, a really useful device to give us almost mains water pressure um, in a very portable form to quickly go out wash something down if you get back all you need to do is put some water in it and uh, it's there and ideal to use hopefully you found that video of use if you've got one of these devices or maybe it's made you aware that uh, these exist because we didn't know they really existed for uh, quite a time when we come across this one this suited us more than sort of other similar devices as always don't forget to check out our other videos and uh, look through see if there's anything of interest to you and as always thank you very much for watching